Welcome to Everyday Wines. I'm Carolyn Evans Hammond here to remind you, you don't need to spend a lot to get a great tasting wine. You just need to know which bottle to buy. Now, before we get started, take a moment to subscribe and hit the bell on your screen to get notified each time a new episode is released so you can drink better and save money. Today's wine is a pearly pink Prosecco. What's more, it's widely available, undervalued, and everything you want in an everyday wine. The wine I'm sharing with you today is the 2019 Bottega Il Vino de Poeti Prosecco D.O.C. Rosé, a Spumante Brut from Italy. What's exciting about this wine is that it's a pink Prosecco, which is a brand new category. Just last year, the Italian government approved the production of Prosecco D.O.C. Rosé, and bottles of pink Prosecco are now hitting shelves all over the world. Given Pale Rosé and Prosecco are two wildly popular categories of wine right now. I have no doubt that pink Prosecco will skyrocket in popularity. Not only because it's a new form of both of those categories, but because of how Prosecco DOC Rosé is made. You see, Prosecco DOC Rosé is made according to strict grape growing and winemaking practices to maintain quality. Yields are controlled, bottles must be vintage dated and its pink tint must come from Pinot Noir. Prosecco DOC Rosé is a blend of Glera and Pinot Noir. Glera is a grape variety used to make white Prosecco of course and delivers a classic pear-like flavor but Pinot Noir adds depth, a bit of red fruit, earthy notes, even maybe a little floral lift. So Prosecco Rosé can taste rather sophisticated and complex for an everyday style of sparkling wine, which is exactly what we find here. More on that in a moment. This 2019 Bottega Prosecco Rosé is worth your attention and is now available for about 12 pounds in the UK and less than $18 in Canada. So let's taste. Looking in the glass, beautiful, very pale shade of coral and a tiny persistent bubble going up that forms a little bit of a mousse um, on the sides of the glass. And we're gonna look for that sort of moussey, creamy note on the palate. On the nose, beautiful, very understated, but this is not white Prosecco because it's more than just pear. I often get pear and maybe a bit of almond in white Prosecco. Here I'm getting Yes, there's pear, but there's also a hint of apple, sort of red apple, strawberry, and a hint of floral, a hint of violet. I really like that. It's feathery, it's wispy, and it's lovely. Um, lovely aromas. Let's taste. Mm. Beautiful purity of fruit very very delicate it's there's a kiss of sweetness but it's definitely brute so it just sort of softens the edges the texture is wonderful the effervescence makes it taste sort of creamy there's sort of a creamy note to the effervescence and it it lifts the fruit and keeps it very fresh and let's look at the flavor profile mm -hmm. beautiful mm. Again, the strawberry, but the strawberry is so understated. And the fruit is, the orchard fruit, is definitely more red apple than anything else. And then on the finish, you're getting the pear, sort of a ripe poached pear, and the length goes on and on. The very tail end is where I get that hint of violet again. I love that. This is a beautiful wine. It's got concentration, complexity, length, and a beautiful structure. So 
So let's talk about what to pair with this wine. I've got three great pairings right here, starting with the world's best bagel. Montreal bagel, not New York, Montreal bagels. This sliced, topped with cream cheese, smoked salmon and sprinkled with capers is fantastic with this wine. Brunch perfection. Or if you're just having a glass, enjoy it with a handful of potato chips, but not just any potato chip. Try them with jalapeno potato chips or any spicy salty snack because the spiciness offsets the kiss of sweetness in this wine and it's perfect. The third idea, an old school appetizer. Prosciutto wrapped cantaloupe. It's fantastic and it works really well with this wine and it's also Italian. So these are three great pairings that go beautifully with this wine. Have you tasted pink Prosecco yet? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe because I'm coming right back with more delicious everyday wine so you can drink better and spend less. Thank you.